Here's the problem. Workload management and monitoring are critical tasks for IT teams. Though, the traditional break-fix methods are slow, inefficient, and costly. You and your team face a number of challenges when it comes to monitoring system parameters of your workloads and managing alerts for when they are performing abnormally. You need to quickly detect, understand, and correlate alerts with other security and performance events to avoid missing significant events which could cause an impact to your business continuity. Here's the solution to that problem. The machine learning based monitoring and smart alerting included in Acronis Advanced Management increases the efficiency of IT administrators, improving incident response time and operational efficiency, as it proactively detects and automatically remediates problems before they can cause any actual damage. Now, let's see how to start using the new machine learning based monitoring and smart alerting. To enable the machine learning based monitoring features for your clients, you will need to create a monitoring plan and apply it to all of your target workloads. In the main navigation menu, go to Management and Monitoring Plans. Then you will click the Create Monitoring Plan button. In this screen, you will select a template for your monitoring plan. Recommended, which includes the most essential hardware, performance, system, and security monitors, or Custom to create a plan from scratch. From here, you can select Recommended, which has 11 monitoring types. And with Add Monitor, you can add additional monitoring types to your plan. You can select Disk Space to modify the default settings for the monitoring parameters and add an automatic response action. Here, you can modify the following settings within the monitoring parameters. You have your monitoring type, which is anomaly-based or threshold-based, the model training period, the sensitivity and anomaly duration, and finally, alert severity, frequency, and message. You can define an automatic response action by specifying one or more response actions to be performed automatically when an alert is triggered. You can run a remote script, restart the workload, start or stop a Windows service. You can choose to run the remote script, you specify, choose the script, and select the script to run. Say, for example, if you wanted to empty the trash, all right, press save, and this script will automatically run when the alert is triggered. You can modify the default settings for each monitoring type in a similar fashion. After you have finished with your plan settings, you can add which workloads to apply the monitoring plan to. From here, you'll click Add Workloads and select All Managed Workloads, Groups, or Individual Workloads. From here, click the Create button and the system will save the changes and start monitoring the selected workloads. In order to select what types of alerts as well as who will receive the alert notifications, you will head to the main navigation menu and go to Settings, then Email Notifications and click Add Policy. In the open screen, you can select the recipients and choose which contacts should receive email alert notifications and the alert types. Click Add and the new email notification policy will be saved. Now, let's check the actual state of the workload and browse historical data for a specific time period. Go to Devices, All Devices, and select a Windows workload. In the Actions panel, you'll click Monitoring. The system will then display the monitor's last result in the corresponding widget. And for each widget, you can select the three dots, or say, the ellipsis, and then select Details to see the details over an extended period, whether it be 1 hour, 6 hours, or up to 30 days. Go to Monitoring, Alerts, and then select View, then Alert Category and Monitoring again. You can select a response action, such as Run a Script, Connect via Near, or Restart the Workload for each alarm. Additionally, you can select Details to see the list of events that are related to the alert including response actions, which will run automatically. We've seen how to configure and use machine learning based monitoring and smart alerting from the customer level. However, the same capabilities are also available at the partner level. Now that you've seen how to start using machine learning based monitoring and smart alerting in advanced management to proactively detect anomalies and prioritize alerts with automatic remediation, get out there and stay cyber fit. Thanks for tuning in.